A survey by the Credit Bureau reveals that parents are struggling to pay school fees. With the current economic climate exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic, schools are falling in the ranking of priorities. The ripple effect of this, of course, has left many schools struggling to survive. ENCA's senior reporter Avi Mtila has the story. Pupils are getting back to school. But economic challenges have left many parents unable to pay school fees. This has left many schools battered. We anticipated close to 34 million in terms of school fees, and we actually have we actually received far less than 50 percent of the school fees, and that has actually had a very, very, very negative impact on the productivity of the institution. Uh, obviously, we were forced to retrench staff, close to 30 percent. Unfortunately, I had to retrench some of our staff, and some of our staff took a pay cut for about two or three months as well. We saw it increase a little bit towards the end of the year. A lot of our parents went on payment plans, so that increased. The worry is that this year it looks even worse than last year. One teaching union says the projected 5.3% budget cut to education only adds to the current woes. It shocks us uh, right now uh, that you've got a, a, for the next coming few years, we must expect education budget cuts. Now, how do you expect education budget cuts in a country that has got a national development plan that places education as a priority? The Gauteng Education spokesperson deferred the budget cuts to National Treasury, but he's urging parents to do their utmost to pay school fees. If they can't make necessary arrangements, because you can't ignore the school's call to, you know, when they re remind you to, for, the, for those payments, or probably to a certain extent, we know that COVID played a major role, uh, but uh, we need to make necessary arrangements to say, I will be in a position to pay uh, this, you know, small amount and when. During this testing time, the education department emphasizes that it's illegal to keep pupils' report cards or send them home over unpaid fees. Avi Wemtila, Johannesburg.